Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for March 10th, 2021. So let's see what we have for today. Okay, so this one wanted to come out and this one wanted to come out too. So we got a bonus day. <laughs> it's have faith in your dreams again. Okay, so there's a continuation on uh, yesterday's message. So this one says, this one's the have faith in your dream. So we read that yesterday. Um, adjustments are required third quarter moon. Okay. So here you go. Here are some of your dreams that are coming up again, but maybe the way you, you had approached it before is not going to work because you're not the same person anymore. Okay. For example, I did acting when I was in my twenties. I'm now in my forties and you know, I'm an experiencer in life. It's been kind of hard for me to even find a place I wanted to settle down in, uh, much less a, a full career to settle down. In. I mean, I've been doing this for a while, but, <laughs> but I'm just somebody who's here to experience life and everything that it has to offer. So I started to explore what would it be like to embody a character again and do storytelling in that way. And because I'm also a writer, so I love storytelling like that. But what if I do it this way, you know, and just exploring and, and letting it come to fruition. However, I wouldn't take the same old approach. I was very naive in my 20s. I was taken advantage of in Hollywood. You ain't getting away with that now. Uh-uh. Mama's 44 years old. She's coming to the scene and saying, I got a dream. <laughs> Let me see what I can do about that. So that's what we're talking about here. Honoring how much growth you've gone through. And if there's something that, you know, I don't know if it's an old dream or just a new dream that you haven't had a chance to get to yet, um, careful how you approach it. Yeah. Uh, let me feel this out a little bit. You, you got to get the ego out of it. You got to get the ego out of it. You can't just do, you were saying that before, you can't just do stuff just because you want to be famous. Have you been paying attention to what's going on in the world? Okay. The famous people during all the stuff that was going on in 2020, what could they do? Who were the real heroes? The doctors, the nurses, People like my dad, he, he just retired. Happy retirement, dad. <laughs> I love you. Um, but, you know, he used to drive a truck and deliver medical supplies. That had been his whole job. And he was the hero, right? So give up on this whole fame thing. That's not, that, that's a thought form that's been put over you to entrap you and to make you susceptible to people who want to come along and um, control you through your wants and desires. All right, so we're getting wiser now. We're learning to disconnect from that and just come forward and create from a pure space and then let whatever happens happen, all right? And that means if there's a windfall of money from what you create, beautiful. Go get a nice house. I like a nice house. I, I was like tempted to <laughs> have faith in your dreams. At one time, I wanted to be an interior designer. Um, but, you know, when I got into it, I was like, yeah, I don't know if I'm cut out for this. But it's fine. <laughs> Maybe that's what you're realizing, too, is that you're trying something and it's not exactly what you want. But you're still going to, even if it's through that path, you're going to find a way to get to where you need to be. All right? And what makes you happy and feel fulfilled. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.